Good day everyone, this is your Kasi Kids L. Luis and welcome to the 5 episode series of Group 7. Today, we are in the first episode of our 5 episode series of Laplace Transform of Functions in Differential Equation. This episode would strongly highlight transform of elementary function but before we delve deep talking about these transformations, let us first define and see what is a Laplace transform and how and when we used it. So according to Bijus.com, Laplace transform is named in honor of the great French mathematician Pierre-Simon de Laplace. Like all transform, the Laplace transform changes one signal into another according to some fixed set rules of equations. The best way to convert differential equations into algebraic equations is to use the Laplace transform. So as shown in the screen, the Laplace transform all revolves around the formula that is f of s is equals to the integral of f of t multiplied by e raised to the power of negative st dt, evaluated from zero to positive infinity. Truly, it can be seen that the Laplace transform is a very helpful tool, which we future engineer could use in the making means and finding ways of solving various problems. So much for that, now let us proceed talking about Laplace transform of functions, highlighting the transform of elementary function. Let's see this one. This is John Angela Hernandez. We are going to talk about the transform of elementary functions. And we will be solving Laplace transform of a constant in a simple function in terms of time. For example, what is the Laplace transform of the constant 1? that is the function of t. We'll get this by substituting 1 to ft. So, so we have f of s is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of t, which is 1 raised to e to the negative power of st dt. Simply, we evaluate the integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to negative st dt. All right, and remember that we are integrating in terms of t, so any other variable inside the integral is considered any other variable other than t is considered as a constant inside the integral. Now, if we let u equal to s negative st, the derivative of negative st will be negative s dt. Now, we'll get dt which will be du over negative s. Next step is we will perform the u substitution. And our equation will gonna be integral from 0 to infinity, e raised to negative st, which is u, and our dt is du over negative s. Now we can factor out 1 over negative s, so we have 1 over negative s, integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to u du. Next is we'll integrate. We have 1 over negative s and we know that the integral of e raised to u is simply e raised to u evaluated from 0 to infinity. Now what we'll do is to back substitute the value of u where u is equal to negative st. So our equation will become 1 over negative s, e raised to negative st, evaluated from 0 to infinity. Now we will be evaluating the definite integral or the limits. So we have 1 over negative s, e raised to negative s, multiplied by the upper limit, which is the infinity, minus e raised to negative s, multiplied by the lower limit, which is 0. Our e raised to negative s multiplied by infinity is considered as 0. So we have 1 over negative s times 0 and our e raised to negative s times 0 which will become e raised to 0 will get the value of 1. Leaving us with 1 over negative s multiplied by negative 1. And if we multiply 1 over negative s to negative 1, we'll get 1 over s, and that is our answer. So therefore, the Laplace transform of 1 is the f of s of 1 
is simply equal to 1 over s. Observing how this works truly amazes us, knowing that this step-by-step -step and detailed procedure would give us the final answer, which is the 1 over s, coming from 1. However, our learning does not end here. Let us see and how this Laplace transform works in other functions. Hello everyone, I'm James Stephen Piligaspi, and today we are going to prove that t cubed is equal to 3 factorial over s raised to 4 by finding the Laplace transform of t raised to n. To prove that t cubed is just equal to 3 factorial over s raised to 4, we need first to find the Laplace transform of t raised to n. We know that the Laplace transform of t raised to n is just equal to the integral of f t and of t raised to n times the e raised to negative s t dt evaluating 0 to infinity. To evaluate this integral, we use the integration by parts in where we set u as t raised to n and dv as e raised to negative st. Then we find du and is equal to n, n minus 1. Then v, by integrating the, the dv, we achieve negative 1 over s e negative to negative st. Plug into our integral formation uv, uv tn, and our v negative 1 over s e raised to negative st minus the integral of v du negative 1 over s e raised to negative st and our du n t n minus 1 dt. Then we have to simplify these things. T, t raised to negative n times dE to the negative st divided by s Min plus, because there is a negative sign here, plus constant n and negative 1 over s, n over s times the integral of what, what we left here is e raised to negative st and t raised to, neg raised to n minus 1 dt. Then we evaluate this side. Infinity is to 0. Any, any number raised to infinity, it becomes a 0. So we multiply it by 0 and we divide it by 0 then we actually get 0. Then for the 0 side, any My apology for my inconvenience, so let's, let us continue where we stop. Mm. We substitute zero, 0 to our equation, then any number multiplied by 0 is just equal to 0, so we end up 0 here. What we left to this equation is this. As we see here, since, since the Laplace transform of f of t is just equal to the integral of f of t is equal to e raised to negative st dt. We could probably say that that this equation is just equal to that the Laplace transform of t raised to n is just also equal to n over s times the Laplace transform of t raised to n minus 1. Let's try to evaluate, I uh, to substitute any number in n. Let's say n is just equal to 1. Then we say the Laplace transform of t raised to 1 is just equal to 1 over s squared, where s is greater than 0. Then let's try n is just equal to 2 t raised to 2 is equal to 
substitute n over s 2 over s times n n minus 1 2 minus 1 is just equal to the plus transform of t raised to 1 which is 1 over s squared 1 over s squared is equal to 2 over s raised to 3 let's try 3 the plus transform of t raised to 3 is just equal to n sub substitute n n is equal to 3 3 over s times the Laplace transform of n minus 1 3 minus 1 which is the plus transform of t raised to 2 which is this just put it here then times 2 over s times 1 over s squared which is equal to what we observe, observe is here is we form a factorial pattern 3 factorial over s raised to 4 to prove that t cubed is equal to 3 factorial over s4 we use this formula what we observe is here is the Laplace transform of t raised to n is n 3 n factorial over s raised to n plus 1 we use this pattern to, solve, to prove that t cube is equal to 3 factorial following the formula n which is 3 3 factorial over s plus i raised to n plus 1 is equal to 3 factorial over s raised to 4 then indeed we prove the problem in this function the very first step to follow is to go back to its original equation which is f of s is equal to the integral of f of t e raised to negative st dt evaluated from 0 to infinity now let us see what if we were given the chance to solve an equation with this formation, e raised to 2t? In solving the Laplace transform given uh, L, function of e to uh, raised to 2t, we always must uh, go back to our uh, Laplace transform formula, which is the f of s is equal to uh, Evaluated from 0 to infinity of f of t, integral of f of t, e raised to negative s t, d t, evaluated from 0 to infinity. By doing so, we can get the uh, equation of f of s is equal to uh, the integral of e raised to 2t multiplied to e raised to negative st uh, dt evaluated from 0 to infinity by doing so we apply the loss of exponent and by that we can get the uh, solution of integral of e raised to negative uh, the quantity of s then 2 we have also negative 2 multiplied to t dt so how do you come in this equation if you would eventually uh, break down this formula you would eventually go back to this one so we just mix them up by the loss of rd we form them using the loss of exponent by doing so we can have now the final uh, output of the equation in which we integrate or evaluate them from 0 to infinity. By that, we can have f of s, or simply our Laplace transform equation, we could eventually have uh, this one. By evaluating it, we come up with this equation. E raised to ah sorry my apology it should be negative 
1 over s minus 2 multiplied to the function of e raised to negative s minus 2 t evaluated from 0 to infinity. So this will be our uh, integrated equation. By that, we can apply the rules of integration. So we have our first function evaluated from infinity. So we have 1 over negative 1 over s minus 2 e negative s minus 2 multiplied to infinity minus same we have also negative 1 s minus 2 multiplied to e negative s minus 2 multiplied to 0 by that we eventually come up with the equation f of s is simply equal to negative 1 over s minus 2 multiplied by 0 as we all know any uh, function or any number raised to infinity is equal to 0 so this will become 0 subtracted with our second value which is the negative I my apology it was supposed to be ah again negative negative 1 over s minus 2 multiplied by negative 1 any number raised to 0 is simply equal to 1 so by that We can come up with an equation. Let me erase this one first. We can come up with an equation f of s, my apology again, is equal to 0 minus, we do have a negative s minus 2. So become positive s minus 2 of s is equal to positive 1 over s minus 2. So this will become our uh, final answer. So that would be, so we have concluded that e raised to negative 2t is eventually equal or the Laplace transform of e raised to negative 2t is simply equal to 1 over s minus 2. Truly, this episode 1 tells us a lot of things to remember, including the various steps and procedures you must remember in solving the step-by-step -step and detailed solution of Laplace transforms of functions in differential equation. This episode will strongly highlight the transform of elementary functions, but our learning does not end here as we continue on the next episode. This has been your Kasi Kids Eloise, and see you on the next vlog.